Hello, hello. Welcome to my live uh, yoga stream. Today we'll be doing a uh, Hatha circuit. Anybody out there? Welcome to my Hatha circuit class. Hello. Okay, so hopefully you have your mat ready and you have a wall that's open so that you can use the wall. And um, if you have two blocks or one block, um, grab those. If not, that's okay as well. You'll watch, you're not gonna do the, the workout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I, hope you'll join, uh, I hope you'll join us at least for some things. Um, and uh, we'll start with a short meditation. I'll take you through some pranayama, some breathing, just to center ourselves in the times that we're having right now, we really need to, you know, you're tired. <laughs> okay, you're ready though, right? Hara, Hara Becky from, from the US. Um, uh, yeah, okay, what I was saying was, uh, we'll start by centering. I'll, I'll, I'll take you through some meditation, some pranayama, very quick, and then I'll go through the moves that we're gonna do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, we'll go through the moves uh, that we're gonna do. There's six moves that we're gonna do. So we'll do uh, one minute on and then 30 seconds off. During the 30 seconds of rest though, I will also be doing some stretches just so that during those off times, you'll be stretching and um, hopefully warming up t for each circuit, okay? So, oh, you're from California. I'm from California as well. Okay, let's start now. I'm gonna turn off the comments. I do love to see your comments. Um, so if you have any uh, comments to give to me, any feedback, please do send me a personal message, okay? I will respond to them. Um, comments are going off now. Okay, let's start by sitting in Swastikasana. So you're gonna uh, cross your shin bones, place your, knee, your feet directly below your knees, widen your seat. So if you're sitting on a block or a blanket, that's great. Otherwise, sitting on the floor is fine. Okay, close your eyes. Start to find your breath through your nose. You begin by relaxing the feet, relaxing your knees, softening the belly, then grounding your seat to the floor, lengthen your spine, lift your chest, Draw your shoulders back and down. Making sure your neck is nice and long. You find that breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. to find our deep ujjayi breath. So inhaling deep, nice deep breaths, filling up the lungs, filling all the way to the top of your breath, and hold the breath. Good slow exhales, making your exhale nice and even, all the way to the bottom of your breath. Inhale again, nice deep breaths, Fill up the lungs, expand your breath, and hold at the top of the breath. Slow exhale, making the breath even and long. Good, inhale again, filling up the lungs all the way to the top of your breath. Now hold your breath. Exhale, slow exhales, making sure your breath is even. Again, inhale, this time really focusing on the breath coming through your nose, all the way to the top of the breath, and hold your breath. Slow exhales, focusing on your seat and where your body is um, in contact with the floor or the block. Again, inhale, feel the breath through the nose. Good, at the top of your breath, hold. And then exhale, feel yourself grounded to the floor, making the breath nice and slow. One more time like that, one more time like that, inhale. Feel 
Following the breath through the nose, feeling the expansion of your lungs, holding at the top of your breath. Slow exhale, feel your ground, your seat grounded to the floor, making your exhale longer. Good. Now find your natural breath. Bring your hands to your heart center, placing your thumbs at the center of your sternum, opening your elbows wide, pointing the fingers straight up, then pressing the palms together evenly. Now keeping the lift in your chest, we're going to begin with three ohms together. Take a deep inhale. Stretch. 
stretch, palms forward and up. You can kind of put, uh, kind of like, I don't know, feel your, uh, move around with your shoulders and the other side. We're gonna get a quick stretch behind. The next pose is chair pose, so we're gonna go against the wall. Quickly stand up, go to the wall. Get ready, feet together, knees together. Squat down. Okay, hook your thumbs, and then press your hands against the mirror. I know this is hard for some of you, so really work on squeezing the arms straight and pressing the palms towards the mirror. Then notice how the chest wants to collapse forward. Draw your belly in and see if you can get your whole, uh, your whole back against the wall. So there's no hole, there's no gap. Go a little bit lower. Get those knees and hips at one height. Keep squeezing the arms. Don't let the arms bend. Use the hook of the thumbs to, to uh, pull away from each other and squeeze the arms straighter. 10 more seconds. Don't give up yet, squeeze the knees. Get your whole back on the, on the, mirror, uh, on the wall. <laughs> Up, release. Okay, now for this stretch, we're gonna bring our arm behind. We're gonna cross in the arms. Feet together. Next pose is boat pose, Navasana, okay? Try the other side. Okay, release. Sit down. And go up. Now if you need to, you can bend your knees, okay? If you have your legs straight, you work on isolating using the core rather than your thighs. Because the tendency is to just use your thighs and then they tend to cramp up. You want to use a chokan. I don't know how to say it in Chinese. They reach your arms forward. Lift your chest. Make your spine long and no rounding in the spine. Reach forward. We have 20 more seconds. It helps me sometimes to really reach the arms forward. And then isolate. Draw the belly in. 10 seconds. Two, one, and release. Let's go into a child's pose. Reach your arms forward. Next pose is gonna be full moon pose. Oh, sorry, half moon pose. <laughs> when you're ready to stand up. <laughs> Interlace your fingers. I like to do this against the wall just so I know how straight I am, but you don't need to. You can also use a block like Mehdi's doing. He has a block between his thighs. So when we're going over to the right side, think about drawing the right shoulder more forward, but keeping the hips square. Squeeze the arms straight. You can push your hips to the left as you go to the right. Extend and lengthen the right side. Keep squeezing your arms. If you're against the mirror, uh, or if you're against the wall, then make sure the whole hand pushes against the wall. Five seconds. Okay, get 
get your arms ready. Interlace the fingers the other way and go to your left. Lengthen the left side and go further to your left. And you need to make your hips kind of go towards the right in order for you to um, go towards, uh, bring your body down to the left. So your hips go to the right and then your arms will go towards the left side. Draw the left shoulder forward. Squeeze the arm straight. Now if you have a block, it really helps to activate your thigh muscles more. You can feel the block. So squeezing the block, drawing the thigh muscles back, and then also squeezing from the back of the inner thighs. So both uh, front of the inner thighs and back of the inner thighs are working. <laughs> Squeeze the arm straight and come up. Woo. Release the block. Okay, we're going to do eagle arms. Draw your shoulders back, elbows up. So, this was our warm up round. We still have one more pose for this round, which is the bridge pose. Let's switch. Draw the shoulders back, elbows up, and go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, my husband said I did the wrong thing. Okay, it's Virabhadrasana 2, sorry. I couldn't see it because your, your tablet was in the way. Bend your right knee deeply. So making this 90 degrees. Make sure your body is not going forward. Keep your trunk vertical. Turning that left foot in. Squeeze the back leg, but bend your right knee deeper. You're lucky because you are not going to go for an actual full minute on this side. Because I did the wrong, I almost showed you the wrong move. We still have two more moves. Virabhadrasana 2 and then bridge pose, just to make sure I have to check. Five seconds, go deeper, and straighten your leg, turn your toes in, reach your arms underneath your shoulders, Kazarita. Now if you want to make it more challenging, you can grab two blocks as weights, just like Mehdi is doing behind me, using the blocks and facing your palms up. Okay. Get ready for the second side. Make sure your feet are wide enough. You want to make it at least as wide as your uh, wrists, okay? Turn your right foot in, left foot out. Here we're just going to two. If you see that this knee is going past your foot, you need to make those stance wider. Open up the left knee. Make sure it doesn't go inwards. You want to make sure it's going straight forward. Now from there, tailbone goes forward into the body. Bend your left knee deeper, squeeze your back knee. Keep your trunk vertical. And think about hugging all the muscles from the feet all the way to the hips upwards. When you start to feel that cramp in the, in the thigh, you need to draw everything upwards towards the hips. to bridge pose position and go up. Interlace your fingers behind you, walk your shoulders deeper, lift the chest. Make sure that the knees are hugging in so that they're parallel. Feet turn in slightly so they're parallel, knees not wider than your hips. So most of you might need to think about hugging the knees in. Then. Bringing your hips up from the back of your thighs. 
relax your buttocks. And then instead use the back of the thighs to bring your hips up higher. You should only see your chest. Your chest should be really high up. Lift the hips high. round, the plank that we're doing is the one with the knee, the arm, okay, holding for five seconds each side, okay, and you continue to do that for the whole minute. So we'll start in another 25 seconds. doing. I hope you're okay. That was only the first round. We have two more rounds to go and then we'll have a cool down after that. Okay, ready? Set your hands. The right knee. Five seconds. Switch. And switch. Switch. Don't let your hips come up. And switch. 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 Last time. And hold your plank. Good, release. Oh, child's pose. Our next exercise is going to be chair pose. So when you're ready, slowly make your way to your wall, hooking the other thumb this time. Feet together, knees together. Hook your other thumb. Come all the way down. So your knees and your hips should be at one height. Then once, you know, you should be able to put a glass of water here and it shouldn't fall. Once you get to that height, then focus on your back and get your lower back to touch the mirror or the wall. Touching the fingers also to the wall and squeeze your arms halfway through. Squeeze the legs. When it starts to get hard, focus on your breath. Almost there. Touch the lower back. Do an Uttanasana, feet apart. The next one will be Navasana boat pose. So 
So when you're ready, you can make yourselves, you make your ways down to sit. Take your option with bent or straight legs. When you're ready, you go up. You should be feeling warm now, right? And starting to sweat, I hope. For us, it's a little bit more sweaty because we have two heaters on. Draw the belly in and reach the arms forward. <laughs> my husband is annoyed with my talking. <laughs> Draw the belly in, lengthen your spine. When you start to feel those thigh muscles like cramping, hoity telkan, then really draw the belly in, or you can bend the knees. Okay. 12 seconds. Don't give up yet. And child's pose. The next pose is going to be half moon. So if you have a block, if you're using a block, use the block, it's very helpful. Okay, this time I'll face you guys. You can always go against the wall if you want. Place your fingers, palms forward and up, and go to your right. Now really lengthening the right side as you go over. Touch all your fingers and squeeze your arms. Get your arms as straight as you can. Now draw that right shoulder forward. And look up. Squeeze the block. I almost feel like the block is like helping me to go further. Squeeze the arms, don't lose the arms. Utanasana. Ten seconds for the next round. Palms forward and up and go the other side. I always think in my head, lengthen and then go down. Lengthen go down, squeezing the arms. So there's like a conversation with yourself to make your pose better. You know, always thinking about all the different points to make the pose better. But sometimes when you think about one aspect of your pose, you'll forget another. So really think about lengthening the left side, going over to the left, then drawing that left shoulder forward, squeeze the arm straight, and it's constantly Think about thinking about all those things. A lot of things to think about. Squeeze your block. You want to open the chest too, because sometimes I see this happen. Open up the chest, drawing that left shoulder forward. And release. Let's do eagle arms. Drawing the shoulders back. Elbows up. Mm, that's where I went wrong. We should stay up next time with equal arms. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, our next pose is going to be warrior two. Set your feet as wide as your wrists, like when you bring them out. Turn your left foot in, right foot out, and go down. So again, use the blocks if you want weights in your arms. Keep your arms straight. Turn your left foot in slightly, that back foot, and then ground the outer edge of your left foot. Bend your right knee deeply. 
Remember, that right knee has to go straight forward. Don't let it go inwards. We're opening up the hips. The tendency is for the butt to start to stick out when we do that. And we want to draw the tailbone forward, hugging the muscles of the legs going up into the hips. So from the feet all the way up. Okay, go a little bit deeper. Don't bend the back knee. Keep your arms up. And you go all the way to 90 degrees. Your right thigh should be parallel to the floor. I know it's hard because I feel it too. And straighten. Turn your right foot in. Come forward. Arms underneath your shoulders. You can either bring your arms underneath your shoulders or you can reach for your ankles or bring your hands back. Up to you. Get ready for the second side. Turn your right foot in, left foot out. Get ready, and bend the left knee. Again, you think about the alignment of warrior two, turning your back foot in slightly, and then feeling that back foot, the right foot, outer edge of your foot grounded to the floor. Then opening up that left knee, pointing it straight forward, drawing the tailbone forward into the body, and then hugging the, uh, the muscles of the legs from your feet all the way up. So you hug them in. Keep your trunk vertical, and then see if you can go deeper by like keeping that back knee straight. This used to be my least favorite pose, <laughs> but after a few years, I stopped uh, having the cramp in my thigh because I was able to understand. So come up. Once you understand um, how to hug the muscles in, then it will prevent you from cramping up in your thighs. Okay, next pose will be set to bandha, bridge pose. So you can go ahead and lie down, bringing your heels close to you, keeping your feet parallel. You can also use a block between your thighs. Elbows down, good, hips up, interlace your fingers. Now walk your shoulders. So you walk them right, left, right, left, until your chest puffs up. Then from there, if you have the block, then you can squeeze the block. From there, lifting from the back of your thighs. Now the tendency is to clench your buttocks. I want you to think about relaxing the buttocks, isolating the muscles so that you work from the back of the thighs. So of course the buttocks will tighten a little bit, but I don't want it to be squeezing. Now lifting from the back of your thighs, go up higher. If you have a block, squeeze the block. Keep your feet parallel. Squeeze the arms behind you. And slowly release. Good job. Two minute break. Or go for 10 push ups. When you do 10 push ups, elbows in. Go at your own pace. No need to rush. You have two minutes. seconds to, to rest. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing okay. We have one more round to go, so don't give up yet. You should be sweating and feeling a little bit tired, a little bit breathless, I hope. Um, we have one more round to go, and then after that, we'll do a quick uh, cool down, some stretches. 
okay? So don't give up now. Go grab a quick sip of water if you need to. We're gonna start in 30 seconds. Again, plank pose will be the one knee to elbow plank pose, okay? We still have 20 seconds. It's my hip. <laughs> Switch. 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 Hold your plank. chair pose, Utkatasana. So when you're ready, go to your wall, set your feet, feet together, knees together, hook your thumbs, and sit down. Remember to go all the way down, hips and knees at one height, palms to the mirror or the wall, squeeze the arms straight, draw the belly in, touch your lower back, the wall. So your back is flat against the wall, your hands touching the wall and squeezing your arms straight. When you start to feel the burn, squeeze the legs together. seconds to go. Find your breath. Down from Navasana, boat pose. Ready, and go. So by the third round, you might be quite tired. Don't worry about having to go to an easier option. The whole point is to not give up. So if you need to go for an easier option and that allows you to keep up with us, then you do that, okay? No need to worry. Reach the arms forward. Draw the belly in and isolate the belly working. Lengthen your spine. Halfway. your feet if you like, and your spine. Yeah. Next one is half moon. So 
so we need to stand up. <laughs> you can grab your block between your thighs. I'm going to go against the wall this time. Interlacing your fingers, set your feet. Palms forward and up, and go. Remember to lengthen the right side before you go to the right. Draw that right shoulder forward. Squeeze your block. Make sure your arms are straight. shoulder forward, but keep the left hip back. So when you draw that left shoulder forward, you don't want the left hip also to go forward. You want to keep the left hip back as you draw the left shoulder forward. Lengthen the left side, go further. Squeeze your arms straight by your ears. Don't let the arms go forward from your face. Keep them back. If you're at the wall, touch the wall with your hands. Squeeze your block, squeeze your thighs. Next one is Virabhadrasana 2. So set your feet wide. Turn your left foot in, right foot out. Arms out and bend your right knee. Focusing on all those points that I mentioned before. Grounding the back of your left foot and then opening the right knee tailbone forward into the body, bend your right knee deeper, squeeze the left leg. Hug the muscles of the leg up from your feet all the way up towards your hips. seconds. Don't give up yet. Keep your right knee bent. Don't straighten your right knee. Good. Straighten and come forward, Prasarita. When things start to get tough, find your breath. your left foot out, right foot in slightly, preparing for our Virabhadrasana 2, left side, reach your arms out, and bend your left knee, ground the back of your right foot, the outer edge of your right foot, open your left knee, tailbone forward into the body, squeeze your right knee straight as you bend the left knee deeper. Now when you start to feel 
the legs shaking. You need to draw the muscles of the legs upward, hugging everything into the midline. Draw your belly in and sit deeper, halfway there. Don't give up yet. Don't straighten that leg. Bend your left knee even deeper. Good. Come into Navasana. I mean, sorry, Virasana. Knees together, feet apart. Stretching those thigh muscles. Last pose. Setu Bandha. Bridge pose. Okay, so lie all the way down. Bend your knees. Heels close to your hips. You can even do chatush if you like. Ready, go up. Interlacing your fingers, walking those shoulders deeper. Lift your chest. Again, squeezing the legs. Lifting from the back of your thighs. Relax the buttocks. The more you go deeper with the shoulders, the easier it is to hold it higher. So you really want to puff the chest. The chest is almost higher than the hips. Relax the buttocks again. Lift from the back of your thighs. Hug the legs in. Pose. Open your knees wide, feet together. If you're still doing push-ups, take your time and then meet us in child's pose. Release your hips to your feet. Stretch your arms straight, lift the elbows off the floor. that again. Squeeze your leg. Squeeze the left leg. Relax the right foot. Okay, now extend the right leg and grab behind your right thigh. Actively pushing the right leg against your hands and then squeezing the arms straight. Both legs straight. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can walk your hands up higher on your, your foot, or you can just stay with your hands behind your thighs. Sukta Paramushtasana. Squeeze your knees. Good. Bend your right knee, release to the floor. 
Left knee to your chest first. And then extend your leg, grab behind your thigh, and then arms go straight, pushing the left leg against your hands. Squeeze both legs straight. Now only if both legs are straight and you feel comfortable, you can walk your hands higher up on your feet, uh, on your leg or your feet. Relaxing the shoulders down and squeezing both legs straight. Good. Release both knees to your chest. Three Pada Padamutasana. Relaxing the thighs, relaxing your hips. Relax the shoulders, feel the whole spine along the mat. Coming into happy baby, grab outside of your feet, open your knees wide. So your heels should be right over your knees, open, opening the hips up. Feet right over the knees. And then you draw the feet towards the floor. As you lengthen your spine, keep the shoulders to the floor. See if you can bring the sacrum down to the floor. Good. Interlace your, uh, bring your feet together. Interlace your fingers outside of your feet. Open your knees wide in a butterfly shape. Okay. Arms are straight. Again, pulling against the feet. But then the knees go away from you. Bring your feet towards you, hovering over you. Draw them towards you. So the feet are a little bit higher up now. Good, feet to the floor, right foot over the left thigh, thread the needle. Grabbing in front of the left shin. Relax your hips. Knees to your chest again, this time knees together. Relax your groin. Roll yourself up. And legs straight out. Bend your left knee. Try your Shirshasana, widen your seat. So some of you might need to sit on a blanket or a block. That's fine. Reach your arms up. And reach for your feet or your shin or you can grab a towel or a strap and lengthen. Working on that concave spine, pull your foot back and squeeze the knee. You should feel the stretch along your calves. Now place your right fingertips to the floor and grab outside of your foot or your shin. Lengthen and you start to twist to your right. down to the floor, squeeze your left knee, flex your left foot back, lengthen your spine. Again, reach your left fingertips to the floor, grab outside of your foot, lengthen and twist to your left side. Really working on grounding the right heel down to the floor. Straight legs. As you want to nasana, widen your seat. Inhale, reach your arms up and reach past. Reach your feet or grab a towel like Maggie's doing, or you can reach your shins, that's fine. If you want more, you can always put the blocks in front for traction. Lengthening your spine. If you want to fold over, you can go ahead and fold over, but not until you lengthen the spine.
going to stay in Vajrasana. Poke your thumbs behind you. And then come forward, reach your arms up and over. Shavasana, palms facing up, close your eyes, relax your whole body completely. Staying here for a few minutes, relaxing your entire body. Okay, go ahead and stay in Shavasana if you like. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Hatha circuit. If you have any comments to make, please do send me a message. Um, I would love to hear from you. Um, make sure you take shavasana, shavasana seriously, especially in these times. We need some time to really relax our minds and relax our bodies, okay? So um, next week I'll be teaching another uh, relaxing stretch class on Monday at 12.30. Then Wednesday I'll teach another one of these half the circuits at 12.30. And then Friday I will teach another uh, relaxing stretch class. So please do look at my schedule on my Instagram page and I hope to see you guys again. I will keep these um, videos on my YouTube account which is Marsha Yuan, Y-U-A-N, and um, it will also save on my IG for 24 hours. Okay, so if you're looking for more videos, I have some half the classes as well. They're on my YouTube account. Okay, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it and see you guys soon.